How to talk carefully when you communicate. Talking is something we do every day. But sometimes, we need to be careful about what we say and how we say it. This is important because our words can hurt or help people. In this blog post, we will learn how to communicate carefully. We will look at some easy ways to improve our conversations. Let's dive in. Why it is important to communicate carefully. When we talk to others, our words can mean a lot. They can make someone happy or sad. When we communicate carefully, we help people understand us better. This can lead to good relationships and less confusion. Let's look at some reasons why careful communication is important. Builds trust. When we communicate carefully, people trust us more. They feel safe sharing their thoughts and feelings. Reduces misunderstandings. When we are clear in our words, others understand us better. This helps to avoid problems and conflicts. Shows respect. Speaking carefully shows that we care about others' feelings. This makes our conversations nicer. How to talk carefully. Now that we know why careful communication is important, let's learn how to do it. Here are some easy tips to help you communicate better. 1. Think before you speak. Before you say something, take a moment to think. Ask yourself, what do I want to say? How will the other person feel? This helps you choose the right words. For example, instead of saying, you did this wrong, you could say, maybe we can try it this way. This sounds nicer and helps the other person feel better. 2. Use simple words. Using simple words makes it easier for others to understand you. If you use big or complicated words, people might get confused. Instead of saying, I am feeling quite agitated, you can say, I am feeling upset. This is much clearer. 3. Listen actively. Good communication is not just about talking. It is also about listening. When someone is talking, pay attention to what they say. Show them you are listening by nodding or saying, I see. This makes people feel valued. They will be more likely to listen to you in return. 4. Be positive. When you talk, try to use positive words. Instead of saying, this is a bad idea, you can say, I think we can make it better. This helps keep the conversation friendly and encouraging. 5. Ask questions. Asking questions is a great way to show interest. It also helps you understand others better. For example, if someone shares their idea, you can ask, can you tell me more about that? This shows you care about what they are saying. 6. Avoid interrupting. When someone is talking, let them finish before you speak. Interrupting can make them feel like their words are not important. Wait for a pause, then share your thoughts. This makes the conversation smoother. 7. Use I statements. Using I statements helps to express your feelings without blaming others. For example, instead of saying, you make me angry, you can say, I feel angry when that happens. This way, the other person is less likely to feel attacked. 8. Be mindful of your tone. The way you say something is just as important as what you say. Your tone of voice can change the meaning of your words. For example, saying, that's great, with a smile sounds positive. 
But if you say it in a flat voice, it might sound sarcastic. Pay attention to your tone to make sure it matches your words. Practice makes perfect. Talking carefully is a skill that gets better with practice. Try to use these tips in your daily conversations. Start with small talks, like chatting with friends or family. Over time, you will feel more comfortable communicating carefully. Common mistakes to avoid. Even when we try to communicate carefully, we can make mistakes. Here are some common mistakes to watch out for. Using jargon. Jargon means using special words that not everyone understands. Avoid using jargon when talking to people who may not know those words. Being too direct. Sometimes being too direct can hurt feelings. It's okay to be honest, but try to be gentle with your words. Not paying attention. If you are distracted, you might miss important parts of the conversation. Put away your phone or other distractions when talking to someone. Conclusion. In conclusion, talking carefully is very important. It helps us connect better with others and build strong relationships. By thinking before we speak, using simple words, listening actively and being positive, we can improve our communication. Remember, practice is key. The more you practice, the better you will get at talking carefully. So, next time you have a conversation, keep these tips in mind. You will see how much your communication can improve. Happy talking. Thank you for listening. Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe to our channel.